Welcome to Home on the Ranch. Maddox and I are out here at the ranch today and we're gonna be cleaning up a 50 year old cattle pen covered with vines and branches and snakes. We sell a skunk in here. There's a rattlesnake that lives in here, but he, he doesn't bother us any. He usually gets out of our way and uh, he eats the mice so he can stay. Now that skunk, me and him may have a problem if I see him because uh, skunks are bad on turkeys. They'll tear up their nests and we love turkeys. Got a bunch of cows wandering off in the background, if you can see that. So Maddox and I are gonna go in there and get started. We're gonna try to do a time lapse. If you don't see a time lapse in this video, it's cause we just couldn't figure it out. But I like our chances and let me give you a tour inside of what it looks like right now. So guys, y'all can see right here all this dead brush I have on the ground. I already made a start of it. And you can see this gate that we have open here. That gate took Maddox and I over four hours to get open. It had grown into the ground. We had to get a jack. We had to use the truck. We had to use the side-by-side because -side we didn't want to tear it up. And we were able to dig it out and move some posts around that it had adjusted and got it out of there. And so this is one of four pins inside of this cattle pin system. So you can see we trimmed up these palm trees and cut some small palm trees and this oak tree was touching the ground and we got it all trimmed up. But so this is about a 40 by 40 square and there's four of these. And how this works is this is an entry gate right here where actually it's an exit gate right here where if you were running cows through, there's an alleyway, okay? This alleyway right here would go to your trailer. So you'd pull your trailer up right there and it's got a little ramp and, it, and the cows are run right on your trailer. But this alleyway goes, you see it's all overgrown with all these branches and we're gonna work on that today. I don't think we'll get it all done, but we'll get at least one more pin open. And all four of these pins go into this alleyway. So you could run all your cows through here and then with these swing gates, you could put them in different pens or you could uh, load them up, keep them, separate moms and babies, separate stuff that's going to the market. And the pen we're gonna work on today, I don't know if y'all see these vines everywhere, but they are just, I'm talking about a mess. But this is the pen we're gonna work on today. So, you guys in the south here know about these Brazilian peppers that grow just crazy fast. Got to get those out, trim up an oak tree, and get this open as soon as we can. And uh, there is a connecting gate between the two of them. All right, Maddox is breaking brush right now trying to get up to this gate. And underneath all these vines is a gate. And it opens on the side Maddox is on, but it's... It's hinged over here. There's some big old hinges tucked away in there that you can barely see that silver thing on the post. But what we've got to do is get this out of our way just so we can get into the pen. Maddox, give it a, give it a yank if you can. We need to put some gloves on for sure though. What do you think? Are we gonna be able to move that by hand or should we hook a truck up to it? There's too many vines. I don't even think it's connected. It's not. It's just held up by those vines. If the vines weren't here, it would just fall over. So you want to get the truck, tie it to it, and just drag it out? Just get it out of our way? Break the gate. You think it'll break the gate? I think that gate, even though it's rotted and old, I think it's stronger than those vines. If it's only vines holding it, if we could drag it out of there, then we could drive the tractor in later and mow through this whole thing. All right, let's get the truck hooked up. We don't have a lot of rope in here, but I'm gonna try to use the trailer hitch and a dock line for the boat and a halyard off of a sailboat tied together, tied to the fence, and then try to get it going, pulling out some. You know you're a South Florida cowboy when you use a trailer hitch for towing a boat, a dock line for tying up a boat, a halyard for pulling up your sail. I got fish rods in the back, chainsaw. Hey, you gotta have everything when you do this. So once again, we don't have the right tools, 
but we're not going to let that stop us today. So I'm going to just try to make a loop around there. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see if I can get this to get a little tighter so it won't pop off. Okay, that ought to work. And I only know how to tie one knot. It's a bowling knot, but I use it for everything because even though it'll get really tight, it, you'll always be able to get it back undone. If you guys want to know how to tie that that knot, so you can tie, uh, you you can pull a truck out with it, and then when you want to get it undone, you just pull that loop down, and the whole thing comes right undone. No problem. You can get your rope back. Otherwise, you got to end up cutting your knots or cutting your rope and ruining a good dock line. So I'll show you guys how to tie that if anybody wants to wants me to if not i won't and then we'll get this halyard set up and i'll just do the same knot i'll just throw a bowling in this side too and turn one line into two lines we've got everything i've run i've run it through the middle of the gate where i think it's supported and now i'm going to run it back to the tailgate or to the trailer hitch then we're gonna give this thing a tug out of here. All right. Okay, well, we have the ropes hooked up to the gate. So when my dad moves the truck, the gate will hopefully lift out of the ground and come out so we can get in there and clean up back there. All right, Maddie, you tell me if something's going bad back there, I can't see. I have to close my mirror, so you tell me if something's going wrong. Yes, sir. It's coming out very nicely. Does it look like the vines are broke free where we can lift it up now? Not all of them. What? Not all of them. Okay, I'll move a little further forward. Yeah, just a little bit though. You're good. Okay. Well, we're starting the trimming process with the pole saw. My dad is under there trimming them all up. Well, that's a big one. about a trip. Even though that would make a pretty funny video.
looks much better than it did before. sun in here. I, I could definitely mow under that Maddox. Now I do have to get that one out or I'll hit the tractor or my head on it. But I think for inside of here I think that's pretty good because we do want to leave some shade in case we pin them in just this pin. <clears throat> Alright. Okay well that tree was finished over there. Now we're on to this big bush thing. having to cut the low branches so we can get in here and mow so he doesn't mow over everything. This is going to be a fun one to drag out. The bush is so tall. You guys probably can't realize this, but can, my dad's 6'4". This bush has to be 20 feet tall or so. Look at it, it just goes up. Okay, my dad is going in to mow all those pricker, tangly, spiky things on the ground in there to clear it out for our cows. But the only thing is the tractor is really long, so it may not go very well. My dad is going in. That tree. Maddox, can you come shut this gate? I want to try to get lined up just perfect. I opened this gate earlier. I like this gate a lot. And how it works is you can, you pull this and this slides. Look at that. That is the biggest bug I think I've ever seen. Comment down below if you know what that is. And then you just Pull that and that shuts. Oh, you're way away from me. Can't you swing that road jacket? Oh, they're side by side.
down. It's loud. Not a four wheel drive, so the pack tires were just spinning when he was hitting it. This tree is in the way for me filming. Okay, well, do you remember what it looked like before we did this? Because it looks a lot better. Oh, yeah, you couldn't walk in there with all the vines. It's not perfect, but it's a head, it, it's a big head start. That tree was overgrown. It was oh yeah, really trimmed tall. it up, trimmed that all this up. That tree was touching the ground. All this looks like a mess. Show us the other side. Here's the gate we yanked off. We'll reuse that gate. Yeah, we could barely walk in here dragging stuff out. We kept tripping and falling on the vines. I'm I so, my jeans. show them where you ripped your jeans. My jeans uh oh, hey. From the thorns. Boy, you kind of got yourself an aeration hole down there. All right, this big tree here is all trimmed up. We can get under it with a on horseback or with a tractor. That Brazilian pepper there, you couldn't even see this fence line over here. Now you can see everything. And these vines will grow back if we don't stay on top of it. But we've got such a good head start. I'm hoping all these vines along the fence here, give you guys a good look, look at them. I'm hoping I can weed eat those. And then if I can weed eat them on the bottom, they should die. So, hey, well, we appreciate you guys watching and we really enjoy doing this and we love all you guys that have subscribed and I hope this brightens your day. Don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up, shoot us a comment and also hit the notification bell because on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 3 o'clock, we're coming to you live. No, not live. We don't do live videos. We're coming to you by video. Yes. <laughs> All right, hit them with that thumbs up, Maddox.